Well, good morning, folks, and welcome to a little short episode of Papa Keith's Kitchen. Well, you know, I don't usually do many of these in the summertime, but, you know, today's a rainy, cloudy day, so I thought I'd make some of those simple Polish cookies. I don't know if you ever had them, but they're not very hard to make. Uh, simple ingredients. Um, today for my center... I'm using blueberries, yep, yummy blueberries. I kind of like blueberries, but you can use anything you want for the centers. I got three cups of flour. Got myself a little bit of that vanilla, because I like it. You can use what you want. And I think I'll make a little bit of peppermint in there as well. I got eight ounces of cream cheese. And I got, uh, what have I got there? stick of butter there that's easy and uh, that's about it I got a little bit of uh, confectionery sugar that I'm going to sprinkle over the top now once I mix this dough mixture up the key to this is to put it in a refrigerator for at least an hour and uh, then when you bring it out you want to cut it into either quarter or halves and uh, Put the what you don't use back in the refrigerator while you're working on your cookies. And you'll roll it out with one of these dinguses. And you want to make some squares, about one and a half inch wide. There, there give or take, I don't know. Doesn't matter. They all taste the same whether they're an inch and a half or two inches. But anyway, what else have I got here? I got some cling wrap to wrap up the cookies with, cookie dough, and I got some parchment paper on um, one of those uh, big tin pans, and we're going to bake this in, uh, what about, uh, 350 degrees sounds good, and do it for about 15 minutes. And then you're going to pull them out, and then you're going to get out your next batch, make up your next batch. Now you want to make sure they're cooled down before you put your confectionery sugar in there. And because it's got that cream cheese mixture, it's a good idea to leave these in the refrigerator. But around here, they don't usually last a day or two anyway once I make them. This batch should make about 20. Depends how your squares have come out. So let's just mix this up. I'm going to try using one of these paddle ones here instead of a dough hook. I'm first going to put in my cream cheese. I left this out of the refrigerator for a little while. Just so it's a little bit softer. We'll dump that in there. Throw this in the trash. What else we got here? We got some handy dandy butter here. Whole stick. Now, they say to use unsalted. But you know what? I don't have any. So what am I going to do? Use salt. Who cares? I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to add my little pinch of uh, vanilla here. Just give it a little squirt. There, about too much. And a dash of this peppermint. I hate it when these tops on these things are smarter than I am. Let's see, it comes with one of those paper tops here I gotta get off there. Uh, just something slowing me down. I guess it's a good idea it keeps people from sticking stuff in it. You know you remember back when uh, somebody was going around to these drugstores and stuff and they were sticking things in bottles? That ain't good. When you buy aspirin you expect you're getting aspirin. Not something that's gonna make you high or kill you. Not that I use that much aspirins anyway. There, I got rid of that. Next time that won't bother me. And we'll dump in a pinch of this too. This peppermint's really good peppermint. I forgot where I got it. I think I got it on Amazon. What do they call it? Lorraine? But it's got a hell of a flavor to it. But it can be strong, so not too much. If you don't like peppermint, use mint or whatever you want to use. 
Looks like a syrup. There. Got that done. So get these out of the way. Back on my spice rack here. I thought I built this spice rack big enough, but you know what? I still don't have enough room on it. I got too many spices, but they say you never can have enough spice, but it's funny how many things you find in recipes that you wouldn't think it would be there, but all right, so I'm gonna be using this newer mixer. I kind of got used to it. I got still got my old one there. I'm gonna make some uh, some of that uh, pork sausage this summer. I've been waiting for the pork to go down uh, to 99 cents, and as soon as it does, I'll buy two or three of them, and then make up some more sausage. I'll bring you along for that. I know you watched me make it once before, but. Who knows, I might change the recipe this time. Start on one. Oh yeah. Starting to look like a little bit of frost in there. Now we're going to whip it up into second gear. That looks good. Now I'm going to shut it off. I guess the beetle one worked all right. Now we're going to add quite a bit of this three cups of flour here. Matter of fact, I added it all. Now I keep a little bit on the side here just so I can take and powder my table and stuff with it. I'll put this over where I gotta wash her up. Now let's put this, drop this back down. Give it some spins. up now we're going to add uh, some water and I never know how much because you have to get that dough consistency they don't like that cookie dough tight so it's drops at a time as they say and back down we go of oil. I use vegetable oil. Use whatever you got. I got olive oil too. I probably could have used that as well. Now we'll turn it up again.
kind of helps clean up all your sides and brings everything into more of a doughy consistency. You notice I didn't use any baking powder or baking soda or anything like that. Because it doesn't call for me. Sides are nice and clean. Now the bottom's all cleaned up. nice and pretty be easy to wash let's see what she feels like here oh yeah definitely a cookie dough in it bring this out I'm gonna put a little bit of flour down here sprinkle sprinkle won't take too much because all we're gonna do is for this part anyway is roll it into a roll here and we're going to refrigerate it for about an hour mmm I smell that peppermint oh that smells good got to tie that all together here if you add chocolate chips to this you can make them chocolate chip rolls huh you can add nuts to this or you know whatever you want I was just trying to keep it simple, but if you wanted to add that, you know, you could even put a little bit of raisins in there, whatever you want. A lot of people add crushed nuts, but sometimes I don't wear my upper teeth there and they kind of get to chewing on them. I got all my bottoms, but you bite down to one of them nuts and it kind of sends a something down your spine. It just doesn't feel good, so I don't do it. Huh. Now, what do you think of that? Looks almost like a miniature loaf of bread. All right. Now, I'll get some of this clingity stuff. You know, you all know how much I like this stuff, trying to work with it. Go cut it or something and it clings all around your hand and everywhere you don't want it. Let's see if this cutter works this time. Of course not. Of course not. Oh well. That'll cut it. I think. Even that needs a new blade. There. Never found any that opened up good and stayed where you wanted it. It all clings together. I guess that's why they call it cling wrap, I guess. I don't know. Clings too good sometimes. Come on, open back up, you little sucker. Be nice to me. Looks like we made it to that part. Now, roll this over in the clover. Tuck it in. Now this don't rise or anything, but it, you need to chill it down so it will, you can work with it a little bit. Now in the refrigerator she goes. So I'll be back in an hour or so. Geez, that took me 15 minutes. I got so I've been doing too much gathering on here. I'll be back. Well, I'm back. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. There's about 12 of them there right there for the first batch here. Well, I was, I was watching some of that. Uh, I gotta grab that pan. 
UCLA going on out there. After they got all said and done, I was flabbergasted at the amount of damage them kids done to that school. Graffiti and what a mess. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong in protesting something, but she's doing that much damage to your own school. Who do you think's going to pay for all that? You and me. Taxpayers. What is wrong with their heads? You know, I agree that Palestine should be a free state and should be governing themselves. But I am definitely against terrorists that are mixed in with them. We all have our voice of views, but I don't know. What in the world do we teach these kids? You know, if I'd done something like that, my father would have put a boot right up my ass and such time I wouldn't have a chance to blink. Well, anyway, enough gabbing on that politics shit. Excuse my French. Uh, let me see how I'm gonna do this here without making too much of a mess. You know, all this blueberry stuff is, can get all over your fingers and stuff. And, Let's see if I can use this thing here to kind of help me out a little bit here. So I'm going to put a line down through here, as you can see. Doesn't have to be a lot. I'm going corner to corner. Like so. Obviously, when you do this, some of it's going to drip out, but, well, that's all right, too. See how many go down through? Can you see me doing this? I don't know. There's one here. You see that one. That one. I should try not to use too much of that jelly, because... It's just going to make a mess, but you want it to be flavored up with that blackberry. One more here. I'll stick that back into that cup. Now what you want to do is you're going to squeeze these together a little bit up here like this. But what you want to do is dip your fingers into some water and get them a little bit moist. And just kind of pinch them over. You know, so they stay. And can you see that? That's one of those kolache cookies. Polish cookies. American Polish. Get another one here. Kind of pretty. Now these aren't huge cookies, but you know, it's be a quick snack. Finger dried out a little bit. I think I told you about cookies up at uh, 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. And let them cool off. And, uh, then you could take and powder them up with some of that confectionery sugar. Now the dough itself doesn't have any sugar in it. You know, because uh, you get most of your sugar from the blackberry.
quick, easy snack. There. So as you can see, they don't look too bad, do they? Not bad for an old part, huh? All right, so we'll put that there. And of course, I'm going to have to clean up the counter here again because you can see all the jelly spots I got on there. And I'm going to roll out some more. So when I get them all done and get to that confectionery on there, I'll probably be back. If not, enjoy your day. Well, folks, I got them done. Let's see what they look like. Mmm. Kind of pretty there, ain't they? A little powdered sugar on top. Now when they cool down a little bit more, I'm gonna throw them in the refrigerator. Because like I said, I got that uh, cream cheese in there with them. So, I kind of hope uh, you fellas and women and whoever watching enjoy this. Uh, Bob Key saying so long till later. <laughs>